Hi everybody, I'm Scotty for Scotty's Tech.info with my co-host Cletus. And in this video, we're going to talk about uh, fluorescent tubes versus LED replacement tubes. Uh, in my last video, I talked about how to fix uh, fluorescent tubes like this guy. And uh, at the end of the show, Cletus had a very good question, which is, since there are these newfangled tubes uh, that have LEDs inside, why not just forget the whole fluorescent thing and buy one of these LED tubes and pop that sucker in your fluorescent light fixture? Okay, um, it's complicated. That's the short answer. The, the first problem is that there, as far as I can tell, there are about three different types of uh, LED replacement tubes for fluorescent light fixtures. The first kind is basically like these Cree tubes, which I found in the U.S. anyway, where the tube actually is designed to just be, you yank out the fluorescent tube, you put in the LED tube, boom, you're done. It, it takes care of everything for you. Um, that's awesome in terms of convenience and ease of installation. It's not so awesome in terms of things like efficiency because you still have your ballast and you've got your high voltages and there's all this other stuff going on. And then the, the LED tube has to also take that voltage back down and convert it to DC and blah, blah, blah. it's not exactly ideal. Um, the second type that I found mostly here uh, in Europe is uh, there's a, I think it's Philips, they make LED replacement tubes for fluorescent light fixtures where they give you the tube and then they give you a special starter and the special starter has to be inserted with the LED tube and that basically kind of takes some of the crazy high voltage nonsense out of the equation, does something special, whatever, and that allows the LED tube to run safely. Okay, now those are the first two. The third type is even better because the third type, they actually tell you point blank, hang on, let me get my tube here. They, they, they actually tell you point blank that you're going to have to rewire your light fixture, which is not very handy. So, if you look at this tube, normally internally, oh, that's kind of a pain. Normally internally, uh, between these two, these, these two pins, there's kind of like a little coil of wire, and that's, that's kind of an electrode on this end, and there's another one on the other end of the tube. Well, okay, um, in these LED, this third type of LED replacement tube, what they do is these two pins, there's LEDs inside here, and these two pins are actually tied together. And what you have to do is, basically, you have to uh, you have to open up the light fixture. And on one end of the tube, to one pin or both, you connect live. And the other end of the tube, to one pin or both, you connect the neutral from your electrical supply. That makes it work more like this kind of bulb, where you've just got, you've got live and neutral, it's, it's 120 or 230 volts, depending on where you live, sometimes 240 volts. It's, it's AC line voltage, and Bob's your uncle, right? What that means is that, uh, if you watched my last video, you have to take apart the light fixture and disconnect the starter, disconnect the ballast, rewire internally, and of course, if you get it wrong, you're gonna toast your brand new LED tube. Which brings me to the... Next point, which is that, depending on where you live, LED tubes for fluorescent light fixtures are unbelievably expensive. Now, I know some of these Cree tubes in the in the U.S., for example, you can get like a, I think it was like a like a thirty watt equivalent uh, LED tube, for, you know, equivalent LED tube for a thirty watt uh, fluorescent tube. I think they're like fifteen or twenty dollars. Now, a normal tube like that's going to cost you a couple bucks, so that's still quite a bit more expensive. Uh, here in Europe, you can buy these nice Philips tubes that I mentioned that come with the starter, and those suckers are 40 to $50, whereas a normal tube like, like this guy, you can, you can buy him for uh, a couple dollars a piece. So you're looking at, like, uh, in some places, you're looking at about 10 times the cost. That's, that's kind of a deal breaker. Um, final point is uh, light output. Now, it gets a little complicated because if you have 
an incandescent light bulb like this, and it's 100 watts. That's going to output about 1,500 lumens. So lumens per watt, which is basically, lumens is a measure of the, the amount of light that the bulb outputs. So lumens per watt is the amount of light output per, per uh, watt of electrical power consumed. So obviously the higher the lumens per watt, the more efficient it is, and the happier Mother Earth will be, and all that kind of great stuff, right? So if this was an incandescent bulb, 100 watts, it would output about 1,500 lumens, which gives you... Uh, 15 lumens per watt. 1500 lumens divided by 100 watts, 15 lumens per watt. This little dude is a Philips LED bulb, and he actually, he's a 100 watt equivalent, but he only consumes, where is it here, he only consumes uh, 13 watts, it's actually, the specs actually say 13.5, and you, you might be able to read there, it says 1521 lumens. Uh, that's actually the same lumens as your standard 100 watt light bulb. So what that means is that this guy is using only 13.5 watts, but he's also outputting 1500 watts. So his lumens per watt is uh, actually like 112. Now, this is kind of like the newest, fangled, latest and greatest super bulb with LEDs um, that I can find here in Europe. And uh, it's pretty awesome. That's a very good efficiency. But your average fluorescent tube is, uh, I think by law in many countries, they're now required to be a minimum of like 89 lumens per watt, 90 lumens per watt. Actually, your average, this is a very good bulb, this is a very expensive LED bulb, your average LED bulb is going to be on the order of about the same as the fluorescent tube, about 90 lumens per watt. Obviously, the technology is going to get better, LEDs are going to get, you know, more, produce more light for less electricity, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, like I said, this is an expensive bulb, if I get uh, cheaper ones, more standard bulbs, blah, 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 yeah, the, the, the efficiency is about 90 lumens per watt, which is about the same as your average fluorescent tube. Um, related to that is, this is actually the final point, related to that is the way that these fluorescent tubes actually output light. So basically, this guy is coated with phosphors inside, and the phosphors glow equally in all directions. So this guy's going to be emitting light equally in all directions. If this was an LED tube, you basically have kind of a, a flat strip inside, usually, with LEDs on the side, which are shooting light this way, but it's not going to be projecting light in this direction. So even if you buy one of these 40 or $50 tubes, like the kind that, that I can find here, um, a 58-watt fluorescent tube is going to output... Uh, I think it's about 50, 5,200 lumens. That's a lot of light. Now, the actual $50 LED replacement tube that Philips sells has a rating of, sure, it's using two and a half times less power. Instead of 58 watts, it's actually only using uh, 20, whatever, 20, 22, 23 watts. But the problem is, possibly, that it's only outputting 2,000 lumens of light. So here you have kind of kind of a problem. Now, naturally, when you have a fluorescent tube, you, you, the fixture is, is above the tube. So obviously, sometimes they put like a mirror or a reflective surface to make more light shine down. With an LED tube, you're going to have very directional light. So some people say, hey, it's great. You know, that's, you know, you, you mount it on the ceiling. You want most light shining down. So I put the LED tubes in. It doesn't matter that they're less power. Um, that's going to depend on what you're actually using it for, where you're using it, the type of light that you want. Do you want a fluorescent tube with nice diffuse lighting in all directions, or are you okay with more directional light? That's going to depend on you. And the real problem there is that um, if I can go buy a 58-watt fluorescent tube for like $2, why, and it works and I'm happy, and it's 90 lumens per watt, why on earth would I go and spend $50 two or three or four times, depending on how many actual fluorescent tubes I have, I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars. Um, I'm not going to be saving that much electricity. The efficiency is roughly the same. And yeah, um, that's not very cost effective yet. But as I, as I say, it depends on where you live. It depends on what's available. Um, here, they're not really worth it yet. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you know about any glorious... Uh, LED tubes, tube lights for fluorescent fixtures, 
uh, especially in Europe, post a comment because I've been looking and so far they're just not worth it. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.